So one month on from the UK shock vote to leave the European Union and the equity markets have been relatively strong. Has the decision to leave led you to change your views on global economic growth and the likely impact on monetary policy? Well, as you say, uh, the leave vote wasn't expected. It wasn't the market central case. And uh, we thought that if that were to be voted in, we would see uh, a correction in equity markets. We saw that on the first day, but since then, equity markets pretty much everywhere have rallied pretty hard. Um, what's not changed is our expectations of what it means for growth and monetary policy. And I think the reason that equity markets have rallied hard is because of the slowdown that we are going to see and because of the response that we're going to see from the central banks. The central banks stepped in very quickly and said that they will be providing abundant liquidity, that they would likely ease policy and that would support, uh, that would support markets. And we've seen uh, bond yields fall very sharply as a result of that response and that fall in bond yields has helped to underpin all risk assets, equities included. So I, I think we probably uh, overlooked the fact that equity markets would rally as hard as they did yeah. um, against that backdrop. But certainly the economy, certainly in the UK, does feel like it's slowing down. We had a leading indicator last week that showed quite a sharp correction. Um, we've seen some uh, growth slowdowns a bit in Europe. So I don't think our views have changed, but the response from the equity markets wasn't what we expected.